Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back to the La Casa uh, Pura. We will uh, continue to create this uh, kind of building. Uh, here is the sum of the my references. So let me I will load inside. Uh, I will load the sum references because oh, I want to see it. what's going on. Uh, here is the my references, and today we continue to create our building. So the my idea in this tutorial to create this ramp. Again, we don't have anything about this, this ramp. I don't know the angle of this ramp. I don't know exactly the uh, height because we don't have even the, as you can see, the pictures. I don't know where it's going, the out. I think it's approximately on the same level. So, as always, uh, I will do as I feel it. So, I will go to the underground floor. Let me first, I will check my the levels. Uh, here is the, my elevation, I will go to the, for example, East U, and yes, from the underground floor to the level 1, I should create my, I should create my uh, ramp. Let me, I will go to the underground floor again, and we will start to draw. So, we have a lot of ways how we can create the ramp, we can use even the ramp, we can use the floor. It's only up to you, so you can use the ramp, as I said, so you just go and draw it if you want, or you can draw it by floor. And the problem is, uh, if we will use the ramp, it's kind of um, hard to create by ramp. Yeah, we have the sketching mode, blah blah blah, but it's really hard to create uh, the floor like we want. So we will use the uh, floor for that reason. So I will use the floor. Let me I will uh, draw the profile of the our floor. Actually, uh, our site it's different. Here it's more than four meter. Here is the four meter distance, and we cannot uh, just offset it. I will offset, but uh, I will offset only this part, the top part. Let's use offset four meter. Copy it on this side, and let's connect it one to another one. I will use the trim, connect it, and connect it. And now we need to create this kind of this kind of shape actually three point it will be i will try to make it here and here and let me I'll place it here okay so we're done don't forget to trim it and don't forget connect uh, this starting point like one point and the second point we did it uh, let's say OK, and we get our profile. Uh, let me I will go to the 3D view, and this is not a ramp, as you can see. We now should create it like a ramp. And now it's starting the most hardest part, hardest part. Let's go to the Add the Point, or Modify Point, select these points, these two points, and say this will be 0, as you can see here, 0, so the plus 4 meter, 4. 4000 I mean so 4000 let me place here oh 4000 and this one also 4000 okay we place it as you can see and this one will be middle uh, if there are 4000 here 1900 millimeter here will be a bit more 2000 like this actually a bit more 2200 yeah we're trying to make the angle on this side to car automatically will follow the, our path don't make it straight so 1800 millimeter yeah and the car will automatically follow this part so this is the reason and as you can see we get our ramp we have a lot of the ways how you can create your ramp, but this is one of the way, one of the best way, as I think. If you want some special, like with the angle, with the degree, so you should create the family, let's say. If not, so you can use even the ramp. This is not a mistake. As I said, as I always said, in Revit we have a lot of the ways, and nothing is wrong. So now let's add some more floors, as you can see here is the floor uh, external SP200 and I will use the same floor to create it internal on this side. Uh, later on we will manage more better our uh, f like type of the floors, so like type of the walls, but right now we should just draw it, so maybe here is better to just continue on this side. 
and I will manage it later on. Right now we should finish our building. Like uh, let's say this is a sketching of our building. Actually, this this is a sketching of our building. Uh, I finished to connect everything. Let's say OK. And now we should create the wall. Let me, I will go to the wall. I will find the external co concrete 300. So it should be nice for us. And let's choose uh, the way. Uh, finishing exterior, finishing interior. Uh, yeah, this is better for us. And let me, I'll draw. And as you can see, I cannot see the, here is the uh, floor. And for that one, we should uh, go to the level upstairs. Maybe we'll go to the level one. Yeah, level one. It will be better for us. I will use the wall. Uh, follow the path. This one, this one, and I think this one. Let's see. And as you can see, it's a bit different. Uh, it's okay. Uh, different drawings, different. Uh, oh my god, this is really terrible. Anyway, 3D. Uh, okay, we don't need this wall. We don't need this wall. And as you can see, we get something like that. And this, um, it's kind of working for us and also not working uh, in the same time. We can, uh, for example, attach it to the base, but as you can see, no, we cannot attach it to the some angle base. So, as you can see, we cannot even change profile because our wall is curved. This is not uh, Revit 2021, so it's not working for us. For us, we'll be working the component in place, so we will create the model in place. We don't have any choice. We will start to do that. So, we have the last chance to create uh, our wall for the ramp. We cannot use this, this sweep. If we will use the sweep, it will be go to the same angle. As you know, I did here the different point and we will get not straight line of the our wall we get the angle so here is will be our ramp and like this will be our wall so this will be strange so we have the last chance to create it uh, we should go to the underground floor here is the underground floor and go to the uh, which one we will go to the architecture component model in place we will use like a wall uh, yeah, wall, I say it. Uh, we will use the sweep and we not will use the pick the path. We will use the sketch the path. Sketch the path, follow this line. Let me follow this line. Okay. And now I will go to the uh, level one and I'll say follow this line too. And this line. I will delete this line. So as you can see, we get the line. Let me go to the 3D. As you can see, it's following on level zero. This is what I want. And now we should draw only our profile. Let me say OK. Draw the profile. View the profile. Double click on the middle mouse. And let me draw here from level zero to this level. Like this. The wall. And I'll say this is, will be 300 millimeter. OK, let's say OK, close this window, let's say OK, and as you can see here is our wall. Now we just need cut it, and that's it. So that's the reason we have only this way to create uh, our, uh, our floor. Actually, you can leave it as it is, because uh, in real situation our wall not will, go, not will follow exactly our path, it sometimes will go inside, so under the, our uh, ramp, so this is true. And we actually we can make it a bit smaller on this side, or uh, or we can just join it. So I will try to join it right now. Join and everything alright. So now we should create on this side. Now let's do the same thing for the another side. Uh, you can uh, create one more model in place, or you can continue this one model in place. So up to you. I will create the one more, so it will will be independently. Let me create the wall, wall number two, uh, I will go there again, let's go to straight to the level one, I will use the sweep, sketch the path, and just this line, okay, these two lines, let's say okay, go back to the 3D, uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. as you can see now, our <laughs> actually zero level on the level one, so it's also not mistake, you can leave it on the level one, it's okay, you can leave it on the level zero, it's on also up to you, so it's not mistake. Let's go to the edit profile and to the viewer. 
double click on the on mi, mi, middle of key mouse and let me I will draw the profile so from this point to the zero and 300 millimeter the thickness 300 millimeter let's say okay let's say okay close this window let's say okay again and as you can see here is our wall fine now select this wall say finish and join with the floor join with the floor and done here is our underground floor and we did it so in this tutorial we finished underground floor and the next tutorial we will continue slowly uh, to uh, maybe in the next tutorial we will start to do the terrain or maybe we will finish first the building let's see so thank you guys for watching and see you next time